So we're gonna be playing this NES game here called Little Medusa, and Ryan found it at a convention. Why don't you tell us where you got the game? So I was at TwitchCon in Los Angeles, this year's TwitchCon, and Mega Cat Studios had a booth there, and I thought it was one of the most interesting booths there because they had new NES games, and the guy comes up to me and he says, hey, have some games. And the game we have right now is Little Medusa, which looks pretty cool. It's a NES actually running on an NES. We're using the analog NT, NES cartridge, all of that. So these are some brand new uh, NES homebrews. Yeah, it, it's funny to see a NES game with copyright 2017. I, on I, it. That is funny, right? Because you know, a lot of the ones that I play, I've been doing live streams of a bunch, and I always find they're they're always by this one guy called Googie. Like half of my homebrews are right. like by this like one dude or hacks or whatever. And um, but most of the ones that I have are from like 2008, 2009. Yeah. I haven't seen one from like 2017. Like this is the first time I've ever seen a 2017 homebrew. So and I want to be clear, this isn't a palette swap. This isn't a ROM hack. This is a homebrew game. So this game is all original, it's all new. I really, really like the color palette because a lot of these homebrews and hacks and stuff, uh, you know, I'll do streams of some of these Castlevania games and the first thing people will be saying is, oh my God, it is so ugly, like the colors suck. The colors look really nice here. So that's a, you know, that's a start. Look, it's you, a- You come in on the Pegasus. Oh, I just dropped like a, let's see. Okay, so I created an ice block. So you're a Medusa. So you turn things to stone. You turn things to stone. So the goal of this game, you, you're gonna want to push it the other way. Yeah, I know. It's just like yeah. this guy doesn't do that. It's the snake that you gotta. The watch snake out will for. charge okay, you. So basically, when he shakes his head, stay away from the snake. The snake. Oh, so you just get the stars. You get the stars. Yeah. I'm trying to be really careful about these snakes because they will they really jut out quickly. Oh my that gosh! You want? Yeah, that was rough. Okay. So I think you wanted to come. Oh man! I think you wanted to come from the other direction because you have to be able to get on its left. There. Yeah, I don't really want to be doing that. No. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm sucking at this. There we All go. Right, so now you get those two. I get these two. And, and then just park yourself on the left and wait for them to come up to you. I guess that's true. Yeah. The the big dude kind of seeks you out. Come on, asshole. Yeah, he'll come. Will he, though? I wonder, I, oh, wait, I wonder if I can do the rock. Oh. Oh, okay. You can destroy it. Yeah. yeah, I don't really... I guess... Oh, that just blocks. Yeah. That blocks them out of the way. They're not coming up there. I'm gonna... Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna create another bridge because it might take forever. Oh, you could do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. That's I'll just, true. I'll just do that. Yeah. Watch the snake. Yeah, I know the snake is. A, oh, fuck, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. You got it. Cool. And that's the extent of my experience with this game. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, I like this so far. They start you off. Um, it's very basic. As as basic as it comes, obviously it's gonna get harder. What do the arrow errors. blocks do? Oh, it makes you go in that direction. Oh, like, will it... So if you freeze the guy there... I see. Oh, I, okay, I get it. I have to do it on that side. So, I have to do it... Like this. I gotta wait for them, basically, to come over. Oh, no, I don't. You just shoot them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this. There we go. That's... There you go, okay. That's weird. Why did they go through the trouble? Yeah, I didn't really... Yeah, Maybe, I, I think I feel like they're just trying to show it to you. Like mm -hmm. this is what's coming. Like get get ready for it. Makes sense. Maybe this is another game that starts with the water level, which is like the you never want to go to the water level. That's like one of the hard ones. Man. Oh, you gotta move quick first. Okay. Okay. Good. They start uh, you on that. Yeah. Level. That that's a very modern design choice. If this was a a vintage NES game, they would have made you get through like ten. Yeah. Yeah, like Lolo, I think. If Yeah, Lolo yeah. has floors and then stages yeah. within the floors. You know what it was? There was no oh, other choices, shit. so you wanted your games to be somewhat in-depth because... You like, wanted it to last longer. Yeah. Yeah. I was with some, I'm going to say, younger people at a, at, a, at a diner, and I was talking about, like, how we had... Like, the NES was... 
the only system that was out really i mean there was like the atari and in television and stuff like that but but like those systems went away after the video game crash and it was like the nes well, was like a new start i mean i think most people still had them in their houses though because you know like if you if i mean we had a coleco but yeah. It wasn't the same. It, My parents it, yeah, had no, like three games. Like it wasn't as that's hardcore. True. That's true. Now that no, well, depending on what games you're talking about, but for for the majority of people, there, what how I'll say this is there are hardcore Atari people. Atari people. I I think I was one of them. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think in general most people were not hardcore as far as like Atari games went. Where with NES that was much more prevalent. The NES created way more gamers than yeah. uh, in television Coleco Atari did. It did, it's true. Yeah. What do you think of the Greek theme here? Love it. Yeah. Um, I've discussed with you many times in videos that theme is a big thing with me. Yeah. Like, I'm not big on Space Marine, I'm not big on War, but uh, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Origins lately, which is a, like Egyptian theme, which, right. I, which I love. And I actually just beat the game last night, and I, lo I love that game. Uh, a lot of people were asking me, what would you like to see for another, like, Assassin's Creed game? And I said, like, a mythology, like, a like Greek mythology, like, themed mm -hmm. uh, Assassin's Creed game would, would be awesome. So you're asking me what I li like about this. I, I love that. Like, like Zeus and, you know, all the, all the gods and everything. I love that kind of stuff. So I think that that's fantastic. And, um, you know, that's <laughs> popped into my mind, uh, Whenever they would do some sort of like mythology thing with uh, with on Star Trek, I always I always love that. Right. Like the you know they'd go back to like uh, you know Greek mythology or any any of that kind of stuff. I've always loved that. I I think it's insane that a lot of those buildings are still around, like in Rome and in Athens and yeah. stuff like that. I've it's been like, there. I've seen it. You've seen that. You've I've, been there. I've, 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 well, not uh, not not to Greece, but uh, um, I've been to like Rome and I've seen a lot. Oh, that's cool. I think you're in a rhythm now. Yeah, I was not doing well As long before. as you don't get snaked, you'll be fine. <laughs> snaked. Don't get snaked. Pardon the pun. Yeah, that, that's what us pro uh, players call it. A little Medusa. Getting snaked. Was there ever a really good Indiana Jones game? I'm on the snake I, topic, sorry. I don't think so. I I think, like, the one... The one with the like, mine. Temple of Doom on NES is not good. <laughs> that's the one with the mine carts, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, it was an arcade game first. And the arcade game is better than the NES game, but it still, like, wasn't very good. Yeah. The NES game is just a Well, the arcade game is a little more fleshed out. It like... is. It is. Oh, this is interesting. They want you to go... around. Do you think that this puzzle, like, would take some people that like aren't don't play as many NES games as we do maybe a little more time cuz you figured that out immediately uh maybe i i mean i think it's extremely simple but i feel like some people might be like hmm how do you get around this i can't figure it out yeah i think it's funny the more difficult part is you're going to have to get that guy there and then yeah once once i get him you can use a little more maneuvering room yeah is he just gonna come at me, bro? Yeah, probably. Like, yeah, that doesn't hurt. It doesn't help. You know what? We're just going for broke now. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. If you had more room, yeah, there yeah. you go, like that. Perfect. Yeah, now, yeah. now it should be easy. If, yeah, just. I got you now, bitch. Although that's that's. Yeah, that's I don't not... got him. Don't now. you wish you could push it? There you go. You dead. Yeah. You have to. He has to walk on that ice, so you should be like on the bottom yeah, and then here shoot you go. up. Oh, come on, come on, you pots, get over here. <laughs> I feel like you should have bait to drop or something. Yeah. I, well, that's that's just. I like I like so. that instead of having two animations, they play the animation backwards. <laughs> like of it poofing in and poofing out. <laughs> that's funny. That's cool. It's like here he comes. Here, here he comes. comes. Oh, he is dead to rights, man. Watch this guy. Gotcha! Boom! Kirby's cousin. Yeah, Kirby's. Yeah. Look at this. I'm getting all the stars. All of them. We haven't seen the rock action. Welcome to the rock. Are you gonna go see Jumanji? And did you think of that because the rock's in it? Yeah, I did. Jumanji and, uh, what's the other one? Rampage. Jumanji looks acceptable. I'm not gonna say it looks great. Well, why are there two movies out at the same time where The Rock is in the, in the jungle? 
<laughs> right? Well, where else is the rock gonna be? That's what he, I don't know. I, I guess that's that's it. I don't know. He can't be like on the moon or anything. I mean, he could be. <laughs> I'm sure that's next year. Well, I'm sure he's already done a movie where he's on the moon. Yeah, There's probably several. I mean, the rock's just gonna be where the rock's gonna be. The rock will be wherever the fuck the rock wants to be. Yeah, and, uh, it's like if he wants look. to be in the jungle. He, he, he can be there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I think is interesting about movies with The Rock? You know why I think so many Rock movies get made? I just figured it out. Because who's going to fuck with him? If he's like, yo, <laughs> I want to make it like this movie, you're going to be right. like, okay, all right, we'll make it right yeah, now. It's like, what, <laughs> you know? <laughs> what are you going to say, no to him? Yeah. I mean, look, sometimes you got to say no to The Rock. It's just the way it, it goes in Hollywood. Are, are we on? Oh, you're fighting a boss. Uh-oh. I mean, uh, you can do it. <laughs> all alone, little Olympian. A titan here. Your snakes do not scare me, child, now suffer. This is rough. Oh, you can't shoot through those. God damn it. Just pop it up to the top and then hit it sideways. Oh. It doesn't do it that. Yeah, that's the problem. That's a shame. Oh, but you got that guy at the top. That's good. Okay. Great. Zelda. You know what the greatest game of all time is, and if you don't like it, you're an idiot? Zelda. I, I thought you were going to say this game, because this game is awesome. No, this game is awesome. I'm very, very impressed with this it's game. It's fun. No, but you can stun them so they don't blow you the fuck up. Oh, yeah. yeah. You kind of want to stick to the same column when you're hitting those Well, I, I know, but the, the like doing it is... It's yeah. like easier said than done. Well, clearly you just knock the boxes into the things. And, and it's all good, man. You just, you just, just I, well, I don't see what the problem is. Why don't you just do it? You just do it. Do it the right way. You just do it. What's the, I don't get what, it. What, what, what are you doing wrong? I mean, what the heck? Oh! I, th I walked you into it first. You see the other guy. because It's yeah. like the sprites. Yeah. All right. That there, there are some things that are like, yeah, that wouldn't have got past Nintendo validation. By the way, you just hit a RAM and... Build a platform. Oh, the Rams built like bigger. They don't build bigger platforms, but you can use. I them. tried to do that earlier and it didn't work. That's weird. I didn't. Okay. Yeah, this. I is, definitely tried that earlier. This is a lot easier. Yeah, now that I know that. Did you know what I started doing last night on live stream? What? Uh, Super Mario Brothers. There's three. No touch challenge. What's no touch? Don't touch the enemies. Don't touch the coins. Don't get items. That makes some parts all really hard. Well, there's there's certain rules to certain levels. Like you, there's certain things you have to, like and also like bosses. You can you have to fight the bosses like boom like boom boom and like any of the Koopa kids. Right. But like other than that, basically, yeah. So I started doing that because I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you are cool and you. Uh, yeah. When I play those all those games, all those video games. Yeah, I'm gonna do a. Uh, <laughs> No Mario Mario run. This is where you don't play the you game. You just don't play, you just hit the power button. You go to bed. Go outside. <laughs> you like go on vacation. You go, you go, you meet people. Yeah, you have a life. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, um. That's, that's, a, that's a probably, that's a challenge too. Isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna get blown to shit by this guy. So basically all, life is just a no Mario. No Mario Mario <laughs> go on a no Mario run. <laughs> I like that. Huh. You can actually hit that guy. I'm gonna go this way first. Just, can I see the key? When they turn around, it's like do it fast. Yeah. They don't really shoot that far. Yeah, they don't. It's only like three spaces or something like that. I wonder if there's gonna be enemies later that shoot all the way across the screen. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that I. Okay. You got it? Why is she not moving? Fuck, what did I just do? Because you put a ball there. There's, you put a ball on the star. She has to unsummon it. <laughs> there you go. She's not like grabbing it though. There, she wasn't moving down. I don't know. That's, That's weird. Got, yeah. He shot anyway, even though he wasn't. There we go. Pre firing. Right. What's it like? PUBG pre fire. <laughs> you go all. This is. It, yeah, look, like it's one, so two, three, four, five. So worlds. there's only five. It's yeah. not like there's. It's 50 It's levels. not like well, Lolo is like 10, isn't it? Yeah. Who knows, maybe, maybe he just. Oh, that's great. Perfect, perfect. Shoot. I just fucked that up, didn't I? No, you didn't. Go. Oh. Push it up. You're, you're in, you're in. That's perfect. Great. 
You meant to do that. I mean, uh, I meant yeah. to do that. Yeah, here we go. I meant to do that. This is when you want your game on Steam. Uh, because Instead of the slowdown? It's like... Yeah, the slowdown on this is a little bit bad. That is true. Oh, fuck. Uh, you mean if, if on this level they would've... Like, if there was less sprites on this level, would this level still be a good level? Like, does the extra snakes make this level better? I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to live, Ryan. I'm just trying to stay alive here. <laughs> There's a million fucking snakes, snakes, and I'm trying to live. Would you say that you're staying alive? <laughs> see, like, I can't even see anything with that. Yeah. You get the star? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I was like, I yeah, think key, I had to build the another bridge. The key's just like, fuck you. <laughs> Here's the boss. Alright. Ooh. Coeus? It's like a Grim Reaper type of thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh god. Oh, he's like... What the hell did you say? He's like making an, earth an earthquake or something. Yeah. Okay, that's one. You got him. That's all. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, he shoots two. Great. Two. No, I wonder three. if this is three shots. Three's rough. This has got to be the end. Yeah, this is three for the Oh, he was easy. Yeah. That yeah. wasn't hard. More of a puzzle game. I want you to be cynical for a moment. Try, yeah. try to. Sure, okay, I'm being cynical. And It's not hard for me. And tell me... Be cynical, but be like truthful, honest. Yeah. Uh, what's bad about this game? Um, they are not like like I bet you Nintendo when they made when they made the NES had like guidelines for how many put a ball there. Oh, you could just I'm do sorry. that too. Yeah. Um, had guidelines for how many sprites you could have on the screen and stuff like that. And like the last level, like I know NES games have slowed down, but that was just crazy. It was ridiculous. So yeah, that's true. Technically, there. Um, the best NES games are known for their amazing soundtracks. And while this game has decent music, yeah. it's not like Mega Man 2, Castlevania, right. uh, you know, Super Mario, but like... It's decent for a, a homebrew. It, it's, it's decent for like a like a normal title, but it's not standout, the music. It's not Batman, you know? No, yeah. <laughs> but like that's not even being like negative or telling me something bad. You're like you you just said it was decent. Like that's yeah. not terrible, you know? Yeah. What are you supposed to do to get the star at the top? I'm not sure. I'm just trying to build the bridge up there first and then figure it out. Um, maybe there's something else in that treasure chest that besides yeah. the key. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, I'm flying. That's cool. I don't know why I anticipated that because I could, you know, there had to have been. There was nothing else that yeah you could have done, right? Um, that's cool. So now at this point, you're, we're getting like other items and stuff. I was yeah. I was gonna say they could like add more, but as we're going, we're finding mm -hmm. more. So yeah, I mean, the the only criticism I really have is that the slowdown, the slowdown, and the the flickering. There, there's ways to manage it, and they're not taking advantage of those. So, um, but I mean, look at the. But, I mean, the game looks like how awesome. Many, how many people made this? Like, one person? <laughs> yeah, right? Like how, like, how big was that? You know, this wasn't... You could do the ball trick. Or you could just wait for it. I could probably just... Oh. Or you just die to, to the yep. enemy that doesn't even attack. No, I'm kidding! <laughs> this game is far better than, like, every homebrew. Like, I would say that this is probably on par with games like Battle Kid. Right. Like, I mean, it's different. Like, Battle Kid's, like, this broad thing. But I feel like it's... It's it's one of the standout ones. I, I think so too. Yeah, and it you you know the, this company Mad Cat Games. It's really cool that they're. Why don't you show the other uh, game? Yeah, because maybe they, we'll do that. They gave sometime. us they gave they gave us Little Medusa, which is the game you've seen. The creepy brawlers, which looks like it's a bit like Punch Out. I also want to mention that um, they're not using like donor carts to make these. 
Oh yeah, like a lot of people say that. Oh, yeah. you, you destroyed a real NES cartridge to make that. They're using the MMC, which is the mapper, you know, that they're using. The MMC 3 oh. repro, repro board. So this is a new build thing. Creepy Brawlers. And all their cases are nice, like little Medusas in a white case. And this is Justice Duel, and Justice Duel uses the four score. Oh, I'm sorry, this one was like the Tyson one? This one's like Punch Out. Okay. But different. It's not again. It's I not mean, if you're like, I'm comparing this to Lolo, this right. game, but it's not Lolo, right? Yeah. And this game is Justice Duel, which is a lot like Towerfall. I fucking love Towerfall. And he uses the force. People score. always shit on the Ouya, but that was like the standout game when you first show me the yeah. Ouya. And um, I will. I love Towerfall. And so if there's an NES like Towerfall game, that's awesome. I want to play that. We should four score support. Because we have the analog NT, but if you have uh, if you a have the four NES, score satellite, you can yeah, you can do it. That's really interesting. Have you played that one yet? I haven't played either. Of them. Um, I literally took these out of my suitcase to bring them here for us to <laughs> yeah look at them. Yeah, but I, I thought Little Medusa was the oh fuck he just like disappeared. Hang on, hang on, hang on. How do they do they oh. Okay. All I have to do, I don't even have to kill that guy. I just gotta no, you just walk. Oh, you pinned him. Yeah, I pinned him. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, that's really great. So I'm um, gonna keep playing this game, but uh, you guys get the idea at this point. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, how would somebody get this game if they wanted to get it? So a website if you go to the Mad Cat Studios website, and again, they gave us the games, but not sponsored. Yeah, this is or not anything. sponsored. Um, if you go to Mad Cat Studios website, they have you could buy the the individual cartridges. And they do Genesis and oh, really? other systems as well. Huh. Um, I'm wondering how these other games, like if these ones are as good as this one, because this one's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely curious. And if you don't have an NES, which you do, but if you don't have an NES, they sell bundles with the uh, Retron HD. Right. Which That's is cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. This holiday season, Too Many Games is giving back with gifts for gamers. You can get pictures with the Philly Fanatic and Santa. Play plenty of free games, enjoy a great marketplace, and meet other YouTubers, including Cinemassacre. All proceeds will benefit the area's largest hunger relief organization, Phil Abundance. Come to the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, PA on December 10th from 12 to 6 p.m.